hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all doing well in today's video i'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing and i'm also going to be going over all of our expenses for the second week of february so i'm going to be tracking from the 8th through the 14th it is a bit of an odd week but that's just how i track our personal spending just because i like to track from the day of payday up until the day before the following payday, it might be a lot different for you. So I will be unstuffing a few of our cash envelopes, a couple of our sinking funds because I like to use credit cards. And then on a weekly basis, sometimes on a every two weeks or maybe even a month, I will pay our credit card back because we already have the funds in our in set envelopes. So if that is something that you are interested in watching or you're just curious as to how we spend our money from week to week, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm tracking expenses from the 8th through the 14th. On the 8th, there was only one transaction. My son asked for $5 to buy some snacks at school and that was a cash expense. It is coming out of kids and I'm actually going to... That was the only transaction. So I am going to... Say it was a no spend just because it was less than ten dollars and technically we wouldn't have spent anything if my son had not asked for five dollars so i'm gonna add it as a no spend on thursday it was actually a no spend i don't think i've had no spends two days in a row in a very very long time so that's nice on the 10th don't by the way don't mind my nail it broke a couple days ago and i refuse to cut the rest of my nails it'll grow in a few days so it looks really funny right now but it should even out in a few days hopefully um i'm just gonna be like this <laughs> on the 10th there was quite a bit of transactions so let me go down the line starting off with Brian did purchase um, Jack in the Box, $29. He bought himself, or actually the kids, since he picked them up from school that day. So that is coming out of takeout. And then I ran a few errands, but I, of course, I wanted a snack while I was out and about. So I did buy some Del Taco for $10. I always get myself the two grilled chicken tacos. But listen, something about me, I am a plain person. I don't really like like the lettuce and everything that they put in the tacos. So I always just order the chicken and the tortilla. And I did order another one for my daughter and um, the fries and then the drink. Anyway, so that was $10 coming out of takeout. And my son, we were actually out and about while he was getting out of school. So he did ask if he can buy a raspado. So that was $3 coming out of the kids envelope. Um, I always have some cash at home. So I just told him to grab, you know, the $3 from the little stash. Um, so yeah, that's coming out of kids. And that was obviously a cash expense. And I also went to Dollar Tree and I spent $43 some of it is coming. There's like so many little envelopes that I have to take it out of. So I'm not even going to go through it with you guys. But we, I did purchase some decorations um, for my daughter's little party. I did purchase some nail polish. And I actually have it right next to me because I did want to share. It's this color here. It's in the color Meow. And I really like it. I tend to notice that it does last longer when I wear this brand. It's called Color Vibe, and they have a whole bunch of colors. So anyway, if you're interested, it's $1.25 20, at Dollar Tree. Um, I did also purchase a purple one, but I'll probably wear that one next. Anyway, that was, yeah, I bought some nail polish. I bought some little toys for my dogs. And then my daughter, of course, she got a whole bunch of little um, toys and little craft things. Uh, yeah, so that's what I got at Dollar Tree. And then I also went to Food for Less and I purchased some food for the home. And then I did also purchase some things that I needed for 
the actual party. So, oh, it doesn't fit. What do I do? Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this. Is that the last transaction? Okay, yeah, it is. Otherwise I was screwed. I wasn't gonna fit anything else. Okay, that looks funny, but it'll do. So that was it for Friday. By the way, some of it is coming out of the grocery envelope and then some of it is coming out of the extras envelope along with the Dollar Tree expense. On the 11th, there was a whole bunch of transactions. So I don't know how I'm going to fit them all here. We'll figure it out. I was out running errands early in the morning. So every time I'm out, if the tank is the gas tank is less than half i always fill it up so i went to food for less and spent 36 dollars in gas coming out of the gas envelope and then i also i had to go into food for less to purchase what did i purchase oh no this is the wrong day <laughs> that's for sunday i believe so brian took the kids to get haircuts that was 70 dollars with tip that is coming out of beauty i tried to tell you guys the sequence of events but sometimes it doesn't go according to plan because i like to place the pink and then listen i have a whole little system okay even though over here it didn't seem like it i did green and then pink i went to cardenas and i got the birthday cake along with some cupcakes which were so good i'll post a picture here um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were doing a little photo shoot with the cake, the cupcakes. My daughter, before she became a mess <laughs> from being in the jumper. So um, anyway, I went to Cardenas and I bought that along with the sodas. I didn't buy them at Food for Less because at Food for Less, they were like $3, three, no, $4 per soda. I buy the two liters. It comes out cheaper than the cans. So I went to Cardenas and I got the cake. I also, there was so many buffer transactions. I did just add them all into one sticker just because I don't have a lot of space to work with. So I purchased some propane at Food for Less. I also went to the meat market and I purchased the um, the meat for the carne asada. I always get the diezmillo. I do not get the ranchera. For one, the ranchera is much more expensive and I also think it is tougher. I like the diezmillo because it is a lot softer I don't know that's just my personal preference which type of carne asada meat do you prefer uh let me know so um and then i also included the jumper transaction here so for the propane it was 24 dollars. the meat market it was 96 and the jumper was 140 it was technically 120 but brian gave them a 20 dollar tip so it came out to a total of 260 for all of that and i will let you guys know in a little bit how i plan to cover that expense because yes it came out of the buffer but i plan to replenish the buffer um, and i'll let you know in a bit so we also gave my daughter a hundred dollars in cash which i mean she doesn't even know honestly even though when she was opening her presents her grandma brian's mom uh, gave her thirty dollars and she was so excited for that money which i'm gonna be saving for her this hundred dollars i'm also just going to save them for her in her envelope she has so many toys she got toys on her you know that day and then she got clothes which she still needs more clothes but anyway i don't want to take it out of here i'm just going to save her money and so she will have 100 from us and her grandma gave her 30 dollars I will be stuffing that in um, the next cash stuffing video. And the last transaction, my oldest son Isaiah asked for some gloves, some batting gloves. So I purchased those from Amazon for $25. That is going to be coming out of a sinking, the school sinking fund. It was a lot of spending this day. But for the most part, it'll be covered. And that is annoying me because it's crooked but that's fine <laughs> i'll probably fix it later so that is it for the 11th on the 12th i 
had to do a food for less run which is a this is a sticker that i thought was on the 11th so i had to do a food for less run because i needed some syrup i made french toast and i completely ran out of syrup so i had to run and get that and then i also ended up getting a few things that we did need half of this is like the eggs the price of eggs not really i paid like 750 for a carton of 20 but i got a few more things on that little run went to the park later on that day and our on our way home from the park i actually stopped at starbucks and got starbucks for everybody that was 33 dollars. that's coming out of the family fun envelope brian's cousin um she lived in colorado but she's in california for you know going to college so she actually spent the weekend with us this weekend and um it was me her and my daughter and the boys stayed behind at the park because they were playing basketball so technically it was just gonna be like a hush hush starbucks run just us girls but of course i felt guilty and i ended up letting them know that we were going to starbucks if they wanted anything so that's the only reason why it's 33 dollars. otherwise it would have been like 15. And then for dinner we actually had in and out for 53 dollars. i mentioned in um i can't remember which video and i just messed up my little sequence here um that we might have leftovers but we hardly had any leftovers so um which is a good thing but then we ended up spending on takeout which is perfectly fine i had been craving in and out so we all enjoyed it that day so that was it for the 12th on monday the 13th there was a few transactions i made an order on amazon i ordered some floss some floss picks and what else did i order oh some hand lotion for myself i like to always carry hand lotion i actually have it right next to me because i usually put it on before these videos i purchased this um shea butter or shea better in the scent coconut waters it smells so good if you like coconut you will love this smell and it was only three dollars so everything that i purchased i link it in the description just in case you're curious my son phoenix asked for raspado again so we spent ten dollars and that's coming out of kids it was a cash expense it was actually supposed to be nine dollars but he gave them the dollar so i guess he gave them a tip <laughs> and then the last transaction i made another amazon purchase um i purchased phoenix some pants two pairs of pants and some belts and that is going to be coming out of clothing and school it was a total of $92. I don't have in enough in each of those, so I'm going to have to combine those two and cover that expense. That was it for the 13th. On the 14th, it was actually a no spend day. It was really gloomy and it rained that day, so we didn't end up going anywhere, which is perfectly fine by me. Um, it was Valentine's Day, but we just had a chill day at home. I love being home so it was like the perfect day for me and we're not the biggest valentine's day people so it's not like i was um disappointed or anything and then brian did work late monday um on monday so on tuesday it was literally his day to recharge and he did take quite a long nap so um, i know it's not the funnest valentine's day story but i don't mind i love to be home like i said and i didn't even really share anything about my daughter's little um birthday party she had a great time wait i did share right i talked about like the presents and everything anyway she was in the jumper like the whole entire time with my son my son um phoenix is really the only one that gets in the jumper along with my niece and nephews but they're all way older than my daughter so um they don't have the best time when she's in there just because you know they have to be extra careful with her she is tiny so Anyway, it was a great time. We ate good food. My daughter had a great time, which is what is important. And she was talking about her party all weekend. So that's pretty much all of our expenses for the week. I'm gonna total up the expenses for every day, except for the bills. I don't include the bills in this little, um, this little calendar, spending calendar here. So 
for the eighth, even though it's a no spend day, I am still going to cross out as a no spend day, but I'm going to add $5 on there. And then on the ninth, it was a no spend day. Let me push it up a little bit. On the 10th, let me add all of this up. I'm sorry, I'm under lights and the glare always gets in the way. 43 plus 3 plus 10 plus 29. That is $85 on the 10th. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. So on the 11th, It is a total of 542. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, 542 on the 12th. $114. And on the 13th is 112 and then on the 14th it was a no spend day i'm going to total all of these up in this row and we can get the total for the second week so on the sixth that was 74 i can't tell if it was a seven or a two 74 plus 80 plus i'm still going to include the five plus 542 was a total spending of seven hundred and eighty six dollars it is almost double from week one but week one is a shorter week and then week two there was just a lot more expenses towards the weekend so i think we're good we're still kind of on track and except for that um buffer expense but i did want to share how i, how I plan to pay for that so um, I'm just going to go over the spending tracker now. I did make one little change to my spending tracker. I added this little card sticker here and then this money sign sticker. So for the card um, row, I put a check mark on all of the card expenses, credit card expenses. And then on this line is going to be the cash expenses. Um, I have these little stickers and I'm just trying to use stickers up. It makes it a little bit cuter and it like really differentiates what is a card expense and what is a cash expense so for the week total and then also the highlighting helps i used to do little hearts if you've seen these videos before you know but the highlighting is easier and it's just a little change for me so we for today we are going to be cashing out 512 dollars the cash expenses which is all of these here is a total of 188 there was no budgeted expenses no expenses that were added into a budget um and then the buffer expenses was these three gray ones here for a total of 260 so together for those is 448 dollars and the total spending for the entire week was 960 dollars by the way if you are new to my channel i track from the day of payday all the way up until the day before the following payday that's just the way that i like to track um our spending weeks on here it is a little bit different because i do just go by the calendar you know by how the calendar goes but um as far as me tracking with stickers and then using this tracker i track i track that way i don't know how um you guys would track if you were to be getting paid on friday Maybe you would track from Saturday to Friday, or it just depends when you get paid. And for the back part, of course, I always break things down a little bit more. So the same thing here, the same information that is here is what is in this second row right here. So I'm not going to go over that right now. And two no spend days, but I'm going to grab a sticker and I'm going to add another, another no spend. So that's going to be three no spend. And then I did highlight for these cash expenses. I did put the categories, the envelopes that they are coming out of. 
so kids beauty and birthdays and then i did place a little note here which is what i was talking about how we're going to replenish the buffer so a few videos ago i did talk about actually back in december i talked about um we bought a dog house an outdoor dog house for our dogs and they don't use it so it's been sitting out there collecting dust and i bought it off of PetSmart, so i have two months to return it and i'm getting close to the two months so i am going to be returning the dog house and that is going to be a refund of $229. I'm hoping that they do accept it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not dirty or anything. So that's going to be pretty much uh, to replenish that $260. Uh, we're going to be around $30 short, but that's okay. Maybe I can figure out in this cash and stuffing if I can get the $30 from somewhere. So that is how we plan to pay for that. And then the cash expenses, I mean cash envelopes, was a total of $339. Extra expenses was a total of $111, angel number. And then sinking funds, a total of $250. And I did put a little reminder here in this corner to remove $34 from giving for a GoFundMe. Um, I did already make the donation, so today I'm just going to be um, taking out the $34. I like to put little reminders like this for myself. Just because I'm constantly like thinking about things, I'm constantly doing things at home and doing things with my budget. You know doing videos and stuff like that i don't want to forget so i will leave little notes um in my notebook or my planner anyway so it is a story from mr ballin um if you guys don't know who mr ballin is you've been living under a rock <laughs> but um he is like a super 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 good storyteller i love his channel um sometimes i have to like step away because i will binge watch his videos he's just a great storyteller so he did share a story which is the last um the last video that he posted i will link it in the description box if you're interested and it is um dave's story i won't get into the story just because i will not do um his storytelling any justice so i did donate to his gofundme dave's gofundme and um if you're interested then go ahead and watch that video i will link Mr. Ballin's description, I mean, his channel and that video in the description box. So that is pretty much the spending week breakdown. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get to unstuffing our cash envelopes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with cash envelopes. Like I mentioned, I already went over the spending tracker and everything um, as I went over my expenses on the monthly spread, just in case you do skip to the cash on stuffing portion because i know many of you do um which is perfectly fine i am going to be unstuffing 512 dollars on top of the 34 dollars from the giving envelope i spoke about that a little bit in that portion of the video so it's 34 dollars i'm gonna take it out first this isn't part of the 512 dollar unstuffing the spending but it is something i wanted to do today so that's the 34 that are in here I am going to put it in the back just because I don't want to, um, I don't want to confuse myself since it is separate. So that's it for giving. And I just think donating it, it'll help somebody in need instead of me hoarding it in here until I have a lot more money to donate and just a little bit goes a long way. So if you're interested in that story, I will leave it, leave it in the description box. Um, like I mentioned earlier. So that is it for that. Let me grab a pen check that off and now we can start with gas so 36 dollars out of here i have 50 so i need i'm gonna need 14 dollars back you know what i think i am gonna have to just place this and i'll i'll remember i'll remember to take it out because it's not part of the 512 so I said 50, I need $14 back. One, two, three, four. And now I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 left. I was thinking of maybe um, unstuffing them, like the rollover to actually put it in my rollover envelope in this video, or do I just keep it when I do my cash stuffing? Let me know. Which one uh, should I do it that way or do it in this video? Whatever gets the most votes in the comments, then I'll do it that way. Um, 
so that's it for gas for miscellaneous nothing beauty it uh, was a cash expense so whatever's in here it stays in here let me check these off for kids is gonna be it was a total of 36 dollars but 18 of those dollars was a cash ex cash expense so then 36 minus 18 i should be unstuffing 18 dollars from here so i have 16 and i need two dollars from somewhere I think I'm going to grab them from my personal spending just because I got myself a raspado too and that kind of put us over the $15. I mean the uh, whatever was in their envelope. So I need $3 back for me. And I don't think I oh they, yeah, I did do some personal spending myself, so let me put this to the side and just check that off. I already took the giving out. For personal, it's going to be an additional $8. So I'm going to take this $10. And I would be getting $2, so I'm just going to grab a 5 So I have 5 left in my personal spending. Takeout, we're taking out $92. So I have 50, 70, 90, 2. And I have $12 left. The fact that I, um, I kept the money from week 1 into week 2 helped because otherwise we would have been short. I'm planning to keep the takeout in this envelope until, you know, the whole month and then maybe the beginning of the following month I can unstuff if there's anything left. Um, groceries, $84. I have, I don't need to do that five, so I have 100. So I need $16 back, right? Yeah, I should have 41 here 20, 30, 35, 41. And in household, $13. So I have a 20. And I need 7 back. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 in household. Yeah, we're good there. I always leave household in here. I don't unstuff anything really because we're always needing something. One week I will need like toothpaste, toothbrushes, like little random things like that. And then the following week or in two weeks, I might need to replenish just a whole, a whole bunch of things. I actually just did a large Sam's Club purchase and that will be coming out of this envelope in the next week's cash unstuffing. So technically this money is already spent. But since I do weekly um, check-ins and I unstuff weekly, it happened to land on a day that is already going to be for the following unstuffing. Extras, $111. So I have $110.11. So we have $26 left. Is that right? Hmm. Let's see. Wait a second. Let me do something really quick because I feel like this is wrong. I should have $10 less unless I did my math wrong. 250 minus 101 minus 12 minus 14 minus 51. Oh, it's actually $26. I have the tracker wrong. So let's see. 26. So what I'm going to do with this extras is I'm actually going to use it to replenish some of the buffer expenses, which was $260. I'm going to use this $26 and I'm also going to use, where is it? The miscellaneous just to help cover. So I have $15 in here, 26, 36, 20, 25, 
you know what i'm going i'm only going to do 30 because i think we're missing 30 right because if we do oh no 31 i'm sorry if i'm confusing you so the extra expenses the buffer expenses was 260 and if i return or when i return the dog house it's going to be 229 so we have a balance left of 31 dollars which would be this 2031 so i'm also going to include that in today's um, stuffing so that we the buffer expenses will be completely covered and i have 10 left in here i am going to update the tracker we're good so that covers at least the $31 balance once I get the refund. So we're good there. And now I'm going to go into, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go into this black binder here and take out $72 out of school. So I have 100 and I need $28 back. 25, 6, 7, 8. And now I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38 left. That was for my part of my son's pants and then my oldest son's baseball gloves and now i think we're done here i'm gonna go into this binder here for family fun that was a total of 33 dollars i have a 50 so i need 17 back let me grab a nicer five So now I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. Yeah, that's good. I really didn't mean to touch the family fun. Not that we have anything planned anytime soon, but Starbucks was a fun outing. I mean, a fun, uh, a fun treat. So it'll come out of there. And then now let me go to clothing. I did completely take empty this one out so that's 45 here clothing can never keep any type of money in here whenever we do our taxes or we get our taxes i plan to add quite a bit in here just because the kids are constantly wanting or needing something uh, so i want to have at least maybe 300 dollars so if they do need something, some shoes, something, I can have it instead of having to either deep, dip deep, dip into our buffer or just having to add it to a paycheck budget. I just had a cough attack. I'm talking too much. <clears throat> uh, that's it. So birthdays, it was the $100, but we did remove that money. That was for my daughter's savings birthday gift. So we are done with that. We should have a total of $251 and then, let's see, did I say $251? I meant $512. $512 plus the $34 from giving plus the $31 from the buffer replenishment. So I should have a total of $577. I'm going to take the $50 that I had in change. And then make sure we have the 577, 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 520, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. So that's correct. We have $577. This is enough to replenish our um, spending. And then I will keep you guys updated on that doghouse. Hopefully, I probably will take it today. It's just a hassle. It's a huge doghouse and my Mitsubishi is like tiny. Even though it's an SUV, it's small. It literally barely fits in the trunk. And that's that I put all of the seats down. Even the second row seats, I put them down and it 
barely fits so i can't even take my daughter with me hopefully i get those 229 dollars and that is able to replenish our buffer and that's it right my daughter's calling me now so if you made it up until this point go ahead and leave me um leave me a coconut emoji i have this lotion on my hands and i've been smelling coconut the whole entire time that i've been filming this video so go ahead and leave me a coconut emoji if you made it all the way here and as always i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye